Hey, YouTubers, morning, Rob Moffitt. You guys want to make a quick video this morning about a rifle, the RS-22. I'm not a gun expert. I'm barely an amateur. Uh, I don't have a gun channel, but I, I occasionally make gun videos. They're very popular. The reason I'm making this video is to let you know about one thing. I think this rifle is a bargain right now. Like I said, I'm not an expert at guns, but I am an expert at getting the most value for my money. Also pretty good at improvising and finding ways to do things for hardly any money. But yeah, this video is about how I think this might be a bargain. You might want to look into it. The reason is this right here. This is a threaded barrel. Half inch by 40 or 28 threads. If you were to ask someone to thread a barrel for you, they might charge $200. The regular RS-22, the Rossi RS-22, costs about $140 on buds. The one with the threaded barrel costs $148. So $8 extra, you get a threaded barrel. If you don't have a 22 rifle, I don't know what you're waiting for. I haven't fired it yet. I just got this last week. You're supposed to take these apart, clean them, and oil them before you use them. I haven't done it yet, but I've been doing so many other things. I figured out a way to add the ammo. To, uh, very simple. It was this bicycle inner tube tire and some index card and tape. They're very snug. Initially, I tried adding neodymium magnets inside and it, it sticks, but that was a stupid idea. But it did work. You don't want to do that. Um, and it attaches very easily. I'm experimenting with some, some $5 laser flashlights, the kind you use to irritate your cat. Um, and I, I actually think they may work for like in a certain area where if you're a geezer inside your house and it's getting late at night, you can't see your sights that well. These little lasers will, as I think, acquire your target very quickly. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. I know after, we have to see how they end up after shooting a few times, but uh, I think it's going to be very interesting. Once I get them aligned in, I may just use some, uh, some epoxy or something to stabilize them. Uh, I'm going to be making a sling. There's other things I'm working on, but it's been, it's been, I ordered, I actually have the folding stock and I'm kind of liking the regular stock because this opens up and I can put stuff inside there. By the way, it's on safety. Also, this magazine is has the blue aluminum dummy rounds and it sits on safety here. So, uh, yeah, I think you might want to investigate getting one of these if you don't have one because I think it's a bargain. And it was so simple to use the rubber if we've learned nothing from watching George Spray with the Slingshot channel is, is the, the magical qualities of rubber. Let me show you its features. Ah, George is cool. So guys, I'll be doing more videos uh, after I go to a range. The range I go to, it's indoors, a lot of smoke right now. I'm a coward. I don't want to get the cooties. Uh, what can I say? Um, I don't want to go to the outdoor range at Markham Park. You've got to have some gunny sergeant come up there and start making fun of me because I put a cat lasers on a 22 like, and I would deserve it, you know. But uh, what can I say? It's I think what I'm trying to tell you is this I think is a bargain, even though I haven't shot it yet. Threaded barrel, eight dollars extra, and. Every time I pick it up, I'm, I'm as happy as a clam. I mean, I don't know why clams are so happy, but but I feel very, very good feelings about this this 22 rifle. Um, so yeah, I'm able to hold an extra 30 rounds with this little piece of bicycle tubing, and I'm able to irritate any cat in my house. 
I like the fact that it's two lasers because you can you can uh, adjust them. If, if, if you have one laser and it's out of alignment, you don't know. But if you have two lasers and it's out of alignment, it's easy to tell. And you can... So you're able to align them. Now after it shoots, I don't know how it's going to stay in alignment, but you may not need to shoot again. <laughs> uh, or you may have your, your sight uh, lined in by then. So yeah, and it's got, it also has a light, not very powerful. So I thought that was the video for today. Uh, now I'll, I'll show you how easy it was to make the little pouches for the magazines and the little rubber doodad. Oh, let me show you. I've got a video of about 300,000 views on the high point and about a million views on the Crossman BB pistol and about 20, 30,000 on the Taurus POY-22, which I, I've been reading the views, reviews on buds and it doesn't look good. It looks like they're having some quality issues. I've, I've been happy with mine. But, uh, but my, my point was, don't forget to check out my video I made on the gun case. Uh, I just made it with a jigsaw, a hammer, and some sandpaper, and the cheapest wood available. It was a little cheap 1x2 pine and some underlayment. So it was very easy to make on my workshop which consists of, or at the time, a plastic picnic table that someone threw out, and a, and a jigsaw. So, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. I'll be making some more pew 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 videos coming up soon. Hopefully, hopefully I'll get to the range. If not, I'll just be showing you things I'm making for the guns. Oh, I also added a laser to the Heritage Arm six shooter. That looks interesting. I know that gunny would kick me off the range if I bring a, a laser to a six-seater. Yeah, they'll, they'll be escort me out. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Putting new videos on every week. Been doing it for 14 years. Got over a 1,000 videos. Bunch of cool people I feature on my channel. Or at least me, a bunch of playlists. And like I said, new stuff every week. Take care. See you out there. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.